Our next question asks us to restrict the domain of f of x equals 3x squared plus 30x plus 74 so that the inverse is also a function. Well, we should uh, either complete the square or use partial factoring to get the um, expression in vertex form. Completing the square would involve uh, factoring out the 3 from the first two terms taking half the value of 10, squaring it, and adding that number, the 25, and subtracting it inside the bracket. Then in the next step, uh, taking this 3, distributing it to the negative 25 to get negative 75, and then collecting like terms as such, and then being able to say that we have 3x squared plus 30x plus 74, and x is less than or equal to negative 5. Or, we could restrict the domain by saying x is greater than or equal to negative 5, as long as we choose the x value at the vertex. If we don't like um, completing the square, we can partial factor. Partial factoring, uh, we factor out the 3 and the x from the first two terms, so then we get an axis of symmetry at negative 5, and then our f of x uh, value would have a restriction of x less than or equal to negative 5, or a restriction of x greater than or equal to negative 5. If uh, we look at the original function, it's right here, and the inverse of it is here, we see that the inverse is not a function, but we could restrict the domain either by letting x be less than or equal to negative 5, which would lead to this bar. The bar on the left would correspond with the lower bar. Or, if we uh, chose to restrict the domain such that x was greater than or equal to negative 5, we would get this as our inverse, and it would be a function.